Hey buddies, we're back with Wind Waker HD. And we're just about to use his greatest ability. <laughs> Holy fuck, that is never going to get old. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty amazing. Oh my god. He's potentially the most confident Link out there. Like he's he's the most um Links have always been like fish out of water, like grow up in a small town and suddenly thrust into these extraordinary circumstances. But of all links, I think he's worn born it the best. Yeah. He's just like Ugh. Let's do this shit. He immediately wanted to jump off of a cliff to save his sister. Yeah. He may not be smart, but he's certainly brave. Yeah. If you slightly tilt the control control stick, he just makes a face. I'll see if I can Maybe do that. Maybe whenever you're, yeah. <laughs> he definitely has the most personality, yeah. It feels like it. I think you're safe. I don't think so. Huh. All right. Careful, there might be baddies. There's my oh, sword. Wait, Just grab let it. me grab this sword. Dang. <laughs> oh, easy, buddy. <laughs> you had no idea how close you were to death, Link. Yeah! Hero sword for you. I'm trying to do the... Uh, they think it was when sidling. It makes a different face. Good one. Dad, you should be able to Why do a finishing move. Yeah, it must be ability later. I think he has a chastity belt on. <laughs> Weird. He kept hitting his butt and it was like, clink, clink. You gotta protect against syphilis somehow. Yeah. It runs ragged in moblin hordes. It does. It's a well known fact. Try to sidle again. <laughs> That's what they mean. Ah, uh, okay. His frown is like your frown, dude. It's super like... It's very All long. Right. I've come, sis. Ah, oh, the finishing move wasn't in this game. Twilight Princess? It... That's a shame, because I like Twilight that move. Twi is that what it's called? Settle down. Twilight Princess, yeah. Oh, it feels wrong. Oh, they did collect many girls. Pig-faced girls, freckle-faced girls, girls who climb on rocks. <laughs> this link. <laughs> ah! Something doesn't sit right with <laughs> The Legend of Zelda. Oh, well that was a good run, Link. <laughs> Man, that one's got quite the get-up. Wow, that is a cool bird. Yeah. We should get one of them. Yeah, I wonder who's running him. The rival pirates? Petra said they were small time. Probably not capable of... Oh, it's oh, Ganondorf! Oh, what? Right off the bat, motherfucking Ganondorf. God, you got a cool style, though. Bye, Link. <laughs> oh, man. How long is it going to take for us to get back? 
<laughs> oh, dude. Oh. <gasps> Do you know who it is? It's me. Hey, we good fresh air. Put yourself together, Vasher! This is nice. <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? <laughs> you are surprisingly dull witchy, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eat well tonight. I suppose that's only natural. As wide as the open world is, I am the only boat upon it which can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am your enemy. I am not <laughs> your enemy. Sorry, I get too confused. Vaja, I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how you desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him? The shadow that commands the monstrous bird? Look how Link's sitting right now. Oh. His name is... Uh, Africa. <laughs> I'm quite old. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark Realm, the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his Evil magic? Tell me if I... Yeah. So cute! He's gotten used to this talking boat. Yeah. Eh, what's up? <laughs> Tell me, Faja, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yeah, no, duh, boat. <laughs> and will you do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as you go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sweet boat. <laughs> I own a boat now. <laughs> the key to defeating Ganon is locked away in great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yes. In that case, we depart to the great sea. But, um, ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. Get it? I had a, I, I didn't actually don't get it. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me, but I admit, but uh, to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you to the far east of the dark gates of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask you of this, 
But this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you will come in handy if... Mm -hmm. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately, so as soon as your errands are done. Oh, come on. I want to steal the boat. We have another map. It's and a, a dying map. battery. Oh, is it dying? Also known as a battery. <laughs> well, hmm. No, I didn't say that. I don't like that well. <laughs> I don't like that well. Uh, well, first of all, you need to plug it in then. Thank you. Should we explore the town then? Yes. Ooh, piggies in another town. Will they be like piggies in another town? In a regular town? Uh, how do I crawl again? Ah. Windfall Island. Whew! Look at this place. <laughs> the wind from our town back there is falling <laughs> oh, it, in this one. It's where it falls. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Wow. That all really ties up in a package. Show is over. Ah, their pigs sound just like our pigs. No difference. Hey guys, I'm from another town. You ever seen anybody from another town? Yeah. I'm a pig thrower. What's the matter, mister? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something weird like that? What? Y'all, good work, good girls. We don't spare rumors. <laughs> what the hell? What? <gasps> Can't you see we're busy? I know we're super cute and all. That doesn't mean you can just come up and talk to us whenever you like. Cheapers! One of my biggest pet peeves in the world is little kids who think and know they are cute. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling pretty good. Why? Because I recently got myself a pet pig. Three in fact. I got a black splotch pig too. How often do you see those ones? Not often, chum. I've never let them ashore to graze over yonder. I've let them ashore to graze over yonder. But the thing is, I can't stop worrying about the little guys. Well, what do you want then? Hey, just so you know, if you ever have money issues, I give good financial advice. You come talk to me anytime, chum. I may not look rich, but I have plenty of cash. Can I have some? Damn it. Aww. Yeah. Cool. What's this place? Hello, what's this? From Springfield, USA. I was a cute kid and a cute man now. <laughs> Very hey, bomb cool. man, can I have a bomb, bomb man? This is the bomb shop. <laughs> yeah, I know, bomb man. Jesus. Whoa, what? What? Are you fucking kidding me? Are dude? you fucking... Come on now, how's a little kid going to pay for these? You're dreaming. No look, shit. can't you read? Do those look like something you can afford, huh? No, sir. Listen to me, boy. You're out of your mind. You can't pay for these, so scram. My ancestors have been making bombs for generations, uh huh? Now it seems like I'm the only person left in the world who works in the bomb industry. Which means I'm the best in the world. Which means I don't go selling my work without approving who I sell it to. And I don't approve of you, so beat it. You're a dickhead. I didn't call for you, boy. Now go on, beat it. Racist. He's a dick. Thanks. Yeah, I guess bombs should be expensive. Ooh. Oh yeah. I'm gonna sidle up and steal something back. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna sell your bombs for me? I'll show you some mm. bombs. Steal my bombs from me and then I'll sell them back to you or something like that. Maybe I'll just explode you. Yeah, you won't be so smart when you're exploded by Link, hero of bombs. Alright. 
here I go. Yep. Shit. Oh. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. You showed this flower to his boss. Take a bump from the top of your head. Don't put it down in your I didn't know he had so much attitude. <laughs> what? Aww. What about this face? Did you not know had attitude, Becky? Well, I knew he had attitude. I just didn't know. I don't know. He just got so angry so quickly. What do you think of this bomb, man? You regretting telling me I'm an asshole? You regret calling me a pointy-eared little twink? I'll show you. You're dropping everything down below and you can't even pick it up. That's ah, right. Pick it all up! How do you sneak in here, you little rat? Shoot, beat it, scram, vermin! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like how he looks at him the whole time <laughs> as he's like collecting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I love this game. Are you excited to explore the world? Yes. Adventure! I'm you free, young boy. Yeah, please help me. Please read my tale of war. You mean child! What I'm gonna possibly be for you to listen to your request of a poor man and a miserable man like myself! What harm I ask you? What harm? I have your gun! Well, then fine, be gone with you! You wretch, I'll find others to ask! Do it! Pussy! Pussy! Wow. Wow. Yeah, I can't. You really pissed him off. This I'm guy's evil. honestly a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way to listen to his story now? No, he's gonna keep you wondering forever. It's pretty rare that that happens in, in Zelda games. You should be nice to your elders, though, What? <laughs> He wants to sell boats. I already have a boat. A talking boat, dick. Yeah, dick. So this is an island of merchants that won't sell to anybody off-island. Fuck. What's the point? Tis a peaceful place here on this island. The people here will never even dream of leaving their paradise and setting sail for a voyage on sea. Know what I mean? Why this town is full of faces that don't even show the slightest interest in sails of a ship? Are we sailors are the only ones? Has no one else set sail for the great sea? What? So they don't have sails because they don't want to go anywhere. Great. We'll find in my room! <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> oh, if you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. <laughs> Why, looking this fine could have me won the Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than the younger girls I know. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right. What do you have to say? Oh, and how do I look today? <laughs> she looks like my aunt. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, he looks Oh, sweet. this guy's got the good stuff right here. Yeah. <gasps> I want there. I want your bottle. Hello, hello. How would he talk? 
Okay, well, I'm, 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 I'm. you are just standing in the one and only two jelly juice shop. You must have heard our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Mm hmm? What's that? What's chew jelly? You ask? Looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir. You simply must be joking. You don't know what chew jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance which is good for the body and mind? Water! Ask yourself. The word is too jelly. Oh. Roar out an answer to these questions. Proclaiming the questions themselves to be true. Why? It is just a key ingredient to the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here. And I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? Oh man. Hit the wall there. You know, your On business would do so much better if you provided the bottles yeah, yourself. Yeah, you dumbass. He's not in that business, though. He doesn't care. Hello, hello, hello again. This is the Chew Jelly Shop Juice Stop. We only have 100% Chew Jelly here, I hear you. Yeah, you're cutting with something else, like fucking farts. Always. Have a look with L to see Always my wares. Red Potion, 20 rupees. Drink it to replenish your life. One drink washes away all weariness. I'll buy it. Hmm, what? Don't tell me you don't have an empty bottle. I can't sell you a potion if you don't have something to carry it. Just put it in my pocket. Or pour it in my mouth. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's not the law. It's, the, it's not my law. It's the law of physics. Farewell. <clears throat> if you hit that wall, would bottles fall down? <laughs> Just free bottle. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Let's try. <gasps> no. Oh, no bottle. Jesus. No. Wrecking all the places. Raw, Let's raw, see right? If I can just maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna try to snag that when he's not looking. He'll look away. <laughs> I'm hoping that he's gonna forget I'm here. <laughs> yeah, <Aww. coughs> we need a bottle too. I really want some of that. That looks like the greatest thing you could ever taste. I know. See, advertising works. Yeah. It's ever since I heard that, I believe that this potion will do to you what it is doing to that man on the sign more than I believe that Barks has bite. Oh, but Barks does have bite. Have you had a Barks yet? Does it really have bite? I don't know, let's go buy a Barks. Fucking sheep. That was the best advertisement when we were kids. It was smart. Everybody needed to know if it had bite. Yes. You couldn't weigh in until you had one. Yeah. I heard Barks has bite! I bet it doesn't! Have you had one? Then shut the fuck up! Yeah, that's what it was like. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, good, nobody's here. Oh, yeah, I go to town. Oh, shit. You little weasel! Well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high-priced vases. If you break any more, I assure you that I shall not let it go lightly. No, sir. Not at all. I shall require compensation. How much? What? You push over. Nothing's coming out of these. Yeah, dude. Yeah, well, see you later. Jerk. Wait just one moment!
Do you think you can just break someone's vases and leave without paying them? I must chortle at your nativity. Ho ho! Those who happen to be extre those happen to be extremely high class bone china vases that run a minimum of ten rupees each. Take it. Most assuredly, I shall now accept compensation for them. Let me see now. That comes to a total of twenty rupees. I shall accept your payment. How do you even do that? Did he you use just a really it. long straw that went into my pocket? Yeah. <laughs> when you break someone else's vases, it's only natural that you compensate them for the loss. You, my boy, are in the wrong because you are destructive tomfoolery. And now, because of you, I'm going to be even richer. And I was quite rich before. The world is a cruel place, isn't it? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Now, don't stand around looking like you've been swindled. Be on your way. I wasn't swindled, I was just straight up robbed. Fuck you, rich man. Yeah, dude, it is a good thing I wasn't playing there. I would have broken all of them. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Huh. He's the one percent. Huh? What's wrong with you? You're looking for a sail? I have no idea where you find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? You look like a bully. Look, I'm oh, feeling just down depressed. right now, so shove off, will you? Go pester that guy in the massive coat or whatever. What massive coat? What? Oh, in there? Oh, that massive coat. Probably time for a break. Let me come back. Looking for a sail in Windfall Island. Stay tuned.